Amniocentesis, centesis, centesis. What can we learn about amniocentesis today? W H A T. Is it? And does it do? Is the methodology? Samples are required. The definition of amniocentesis, according to the SOGC guidelines, is an ultrasound-guided, invasive prenatal diagnosis procedure usually performed after 15 weeks gestational age for determination of fetal karyotype, molecular, and biochemical abnormalities. Now, that's a lot of words. Hmm, let's break it down. So amniocentesis is a process done from 15 weeks up to 22 weeks in Ontario. The key word here is up to. Many clinics will actually offer this procedure between 15 to 17 weeks gestation. The results take two to three weeks. Many people will have their results by 20 weeks gestation. The process is done when a pregnant person comes in to do their ultrasound. From the ultrasound, one can determine fetal cardiac activity, fetal gestational age, location of placenta, amniotic fluid volume, number of fetuses, and uterine factors such as fibroids, amnion chorion separation, or contractions. Once the position of the baby, placenta, and amniotic fluid are located, a 20 to 22 gauge needle is inserted through the abdominal and uterine wall to draw out 15 to 30 cc of amniotic fluid. It is important to note that the needle does not come in contact with the baby or the placenta. The removal of the amniotic fluid takes roughly one minute to complete. The procedure itself takes approximately five minutes to complete and 30 minutes for the pregnant person to rest afterwards. Including the ultrasound, the entire process can take an hour. The appearance of amniotic fluid is similar in color to dilated urine. Sometimes it might be tinged with a bit of blood. In the event that the client has a history of antepartum bleeding, the amniotic fluid may be brown or dark red. The collected fluid is then centrifuged. that they are separated into fluid and cell compartments, where the cells are cultured for 10 to 14 days. DNA, chromosomal, and chemical analyses are performed on these cells. Amniocentesis can screen for karyotype abnormalities, such as trisomy 13, trisomy 18, trisomy 21, Turner syndrome, or Klinefelter syndrome. In addition, amniocentesis can screen for molecular abnormalities such as cystic fibrosis, Tay-Sachs disease, Canavan disease, familial dysautonomia, sickle cell anemia, and thalassemia, as well as biochemical abnormalities such as spina bifida and anencephaly.